everyone, it's the Jose32. Welcome back to my channel. And as a quick update, I've reached another milestone. Oops. In my uh, I reached another milestone on my channel. I've reached 700 subscribers. Big shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you, everyone, for being a subscriber and watching my videos. And don't forget to to like and comment every on, on all my videos means a lot and I do get back to everyone's comments and keep telling all your subscribers about them tell them to check out my channel because when I reach 1000 subscribers I will do another contest and it will be probably a, a lot of great prizes once again now today I want to do a bit of a uh, review on a bunch of uh, slash gimmicks that I have. Just realized I'm not using my microphone. <laughs> Hopefully this is better now. Alright. Let's see what we have here. Magic DVDs. Mm. I have Crash Course Sleight of Hand Cortex. Haven't seen it yet. Won't review it. Cased. Alright, Cased. I'll will quickly mention this one. I looked at it a little bit. One thing I hate about DVDs like this one is the audio. You'll be in a menu and the music is pretty loud. Then you go to watch the actual chapters and you have to crank up the volume to hear what the hell they're saying. And it's not the, by far not the only Magic DVD I have that is like that but for some reason, the audio quality on some of these Magic DVDs is ridiculous. And then, at the end of every chapter, it goes back to the menu and the music is like blasting really loud. And you have to turn it down, then you gotta turn it up again. Super freaking annoying. I don't know why they can't make the uh, audio, you know, the same. Now, a gimmick is kind of crappy, and one thing I didn't know is that it, it requires some assembly. Uh, that was not something that was mentioned on the ad. I think I got this from Illusionist and it's kind of cheap in my opinion but basically the box comes flat and you have to glue the bottom flat and I think that's kind of ridiculous. I mean you're paying you know so much money 20 or 30 dollars for a trick for a gimmick and a DVD it should come assembled, so that's kind of crappy. And then, well, the whole back of the box is open up like this, and you get this back piece that is kind of a double-sided card, and it has a magnet on it. The whole thing is kind of really flimsy and crappy. As you can see, I bent the hell out of it already a little bit, and I just really don't like it. <laughs> that's what I think of Cased. It's a the effect is really cool when you see it on the videos, but I think the gimmick is kind of flimsy and I don't like that it's requiring some assembly. This is Triumph by Oz Perlman. It's a pretty cool DVD. It features some great Triumph tricks, including one with a color changing trick to it. There's one that is his own creation where where the, uh, the cards end up in a new deck order. And there's your basic Triumph and a few other versions and it's pretty good. I like O's Parman. He does some uh, good explanations and shows you a few different ways to do different things. And it's pretty good, especially if you like the Triumph trick. And, you know, this just uses a regular deck of cards. There's no gimmicks. Not like another one that I have somewhere in this mess of DVDs, which I might get to. And it's pretty good. Some of the tricks are a little bit more advanced, though. And not so much to my liking, but I like his explanations. He's pretty good. I have another one from him called Svengali. And this one actually came with a Svengali deck, and I actually upgraded for free to a better Svengali deck, which the cards do not look like they're cut, but they are sort. And 
it's pretty good again his explanations are good but I was a little bit disappointed because most of his tricks are pretty basic and I could come up with them myself one of them is the spectator chooses a number and the card is exactly that number of cards from the top another one is spelling your friend's name and you find their card there's the ambitious card routine there's Sewing free spectators, the exact same card. Having a spectator choose a card and the location. And then a card vanishes from the deck and appears in that location. So that would be basically a card. You force a card on a spectator and then it appears in your pocket or wherever. Pretty basic tricks. A little bit disappointing. Let me see what else I have. Okay. The impromptu card magic DVDs from Aldo Colombini. I am a big fan of Aldo Colombini. I love his tricks. I've only seen the first two or three DVDs. I have to get off my butt and watch the other ones, but I definitely recommend them. Especially if you're a fan of impromptu card magic or you're more of a beginner. A lot of his tricks are fairly easy. Some a little more intermediate, but they're all impromptu, they're all really good. He describes the tricks really good. And basically what he does is he has a performance with, with two spectators first, and then he shows you how the trick works. He sometimes has some uh, tutorials on shuffling and whatnot. It's pretty good. One thing I forgot to mention about the O's. DVDs is that basically what he does is he does a performance with a spectator which happens to be a blonde chick who pretty much fits the description of a dumb blonde <laughs> and she's pretty hot though so that's a good thing and then he does a tutorial on it and then he does a performance a live performance in front of other spectators and you get some pretty good reactions there and get to see what the trick looks like in an actual audience uh, with actual you know spectators and it's pretty good and I think the Spengali one is the same as well then there is let's see what else I got oh I got too many Twisted. It's not bad. I think this stuff is a little more intermediate or advanced. I looked at, you know, I started looking at it, didn't finish looking at it. The gimmick is alright, and you actually get two gimmicks so that if you break one, you have another one. But you can use queens or kings with the two gimmicks. And I may do a little video on that later. Vendor is empty. Alright, and comes in this fancy box. When I opened this up, I was like, hmm, this feels pretty empty as it is, because it was very light. And well, the gimmick, the trick is empty, but the gimmick is broken. <laughs> and what the gimmick is, is two boxes glued together, which they came apart. Actually, it's glued together like this and you sew that the box well basically you sew that the box is empty and you flip this over and hidden in your hand is a box with a deck of cards in it or whatever else you want in it but unfortunately the gimmick is two boxes glued together and it fell apart so now it's not empty it's broken I I think I got this from Losers, I'm not sure. I may try to get another one just because, well, I paid for it, I might as well have it. And it's useless if it's broken. But that being said, I was just playing around with it while I was starting to watch the DVD. I broke it. And I decided to move on to another DVD. So I didn't finish watching the DVD, so don't really know what to say about it. But just be warned that the gimmick is not really that good. <laughs> 
Then there is Son Farquhar. A lot of guys, a Canadian magician, world champion of card magic multiple times. The DVD is alright. He has some performances of different tricks, not just card related, all sorts of magic. He's got some interactive magic tricks that he does, one of which I did show you. And he's got a couple of tutorials on some very basic card tricks. And he even autographed it, which is awesome. Awesome guy, and I definitely recommend you know checking out his stuff. He's got some other tricks and DVDs on his channel, uh, on his uh, website, uh, as well as some gimmick decks like Svengali decks. It's pretty cool. You know, it would have been nice if there was if it was more than just basic card tricks and whatnot. But I enjoyed the performances and whatnot, so it's pretty good. Then there's 13. I've seen it. I don't remember too much about it. But it's a gimmick trick. And uh, I won't say much about it because I don't remember it too much. Then there's this one. The Amazing Book of Cards by Joshua J. I love Joshua J's stuff. This came with a book which is somewhere and it features basically a bunch of the, the tricks that he has in his book as well as a bonus one I believe tricks are fairly basic but it's pretty good if you're a beginner and the book is good as well and this is I, I like the DVD because sometimes when you read stuff in a book it's kind of hard to visualize it well the DVD shows you exactly exactly the tricks that are in the book and you get a performance and a tutorial and it's you know really good and it's got tutorials on different basic slights like dribbling and suffering as well so pretty good check it out you can get the book at bookstores and online and it comes with that DVD then I have Klutz this is also from Oz Pro and I haven't seen it yet so I'm not gonna talk about it I have we Roberto Giobi card cards one and two. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm not going to review it. Although I will say that I'm a big fan of Roberto Giobi, just like I am of Aldo Colombini and some of these other guys. And basically, what I see this is a, a awesome for beginners. It features basically everything related to card magic: false cuts, suffering card controls, forces. Key cards, double lifts, flourishes, glides, glimpses, falling, calling, crimping, top changes, false counts. He do shuffles and all sorts of other shuffles, forces, all sorts of other techniques. It has some tricks, I believe. It's perfect for beginners, although I haven't seen it, but it looks like it's pretty awesome. And I need to get around to watching it. Then I have this one on the Prism deck from Joshua J. It's pretty good. The Prism deck is a rainbow deck. And I'm sure a lot of the tricks you see here you could use with the Bicycle Rainbow deck. Which is good because I don't have a DVD for the Bicycle Rainbow deck. And it features, as you can see, a bunch of really interesting and unique cards. And they're all marked as well, and there's several cards that you can use with different tricks. Being that there are so many interesting cards, he does not go into detail with the tricks you can do with all of them, but you can probably figure out a lot of them what you can do with them. But he does explain and demonstrate several or a few different tricks that you can use the deck for. And he does a pretty good job with that. Pretty cool deck. You can probably still get this prism deck at thebluecrown.com, which is where I got it. So um, I'll say, you know, it's a pretty good DVD. Awesome deck. If you want to spend the money, definitely go for it.
Then there's this. F Street Mats. Yes, parental advisory. This one I got free when I placed an order on kwmagic.com. I didn't even choose it. I just got it for free. I was surprised. But generally you get a choice of a free DVD out of a couple of DVDs when you spend a certain amount of money. I didn't know it at the time. And it's got some interesting... I've seen it. I don't remember too much about it, but it's got some tricks. It's got some explanations. Maybe not the best, you know, one for card magic. It's with Todd Diamond and James DeMari. I'm not familiar with those guys. You know, I got it for free. I probably wouldn't recommend buying it. Because there are better ones you can buy out there with better magicians. Then there's Collusion. I got this one from Zen of Cock when I got his white new fan back cards and it is autographed Collusion. I haven't seen it but it looks like it might be alright. I have to check it out soon. Let me just try quickly, you know, get through some of the other ones I have. I have the Metal Photography deck which I have seen it there is, I don't know who teaches it, but it is from Magic Makers Inc. And it's all about the mental photography deck, and it's pretty cool. There's a variety of different tricks you can do with the mental photography deck, and if you're interested in a mental photography deck, this comes with it, and it's a pretty cool deck where it looks like the cards are all blank, and then all of a sudden all the cards have faces and backs on them, and there's different tricks you can do with it. Pretty cool deck. Definitely check it out. And the DVD is pretty good as well. Then I have this, the Triumph deck. Again, it's from Magic Makers Inc. And it comes with a special gimmick deck where half of the cards are double backers. And I've seen David Blaine, I think it was, use this gimmick. And it's pretty good. It's got a few different tricks that you can do with it. Some good explanations and performances. And it's, you know, a bit of a, it's kind of like a way to cheat with the Triumph trick because half of the cards are already face down, but the spectator won't know it. Definitely something, you know, that you could check out for Knockout Deck. Another one for Magic Makers Inc. This one's pretty cool. Very visual. Some good uh, performances and from what I can recall, it's with Ben Salinas, not really familiar with him outside of this DVD but he does a pretty good job explaining the whole trick and I think it's mostly just one trick where a deck of cards with blue backs is shown all the cards are shown to be different the spectator selects a card and magically that card jumps to the top of the deck even more amazing than that the entire deck becomes the spectator's chosen card and to top it off all the cards had red backs the whole time and I may demonstrate this one myself as well we'll see And I also have Intuition by Hondo. I've seen it briefly. And basically it's all about spectator selects a card and then that card ends up being the selected prediction ends up being a prediction in an envelope that was sealed. pretty cool from what I, the trick is pretty cool not so sure about the DVD because I don't remember too much about, about it I know I've seen it but I don't really remember too much about it so I'm not going to comment any further on it I think that is it for the magic DVDs that I have to review today again I you know there's some that I definitely recommend some not so much some that I haven't seen yet so I don't know but I will let you know, I guess, once I've seen them. And again, I got 700 subscribers, and I want to thank you all. Big shout out. And I'm going to check out all the channels that I mentioned in my one of my recent videos. They're all awesome. And also, I didn't mention, but I did put a link on it. Big Thunder Magic, shout out to him as well. And I apologize for not putting a link to his channel. That
description to that video, but I have done it now. It's pretty cool. He's even, I think, coming up with his own deck of cards, which is cool. Anyway, this has been a sufficiently lengthy video. I hope you all get something out of it. And remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and I will be posting more videos. I'm hoping to see the mailman very, very soon. And hopefully he brings me something today. And not just a card saying to go pick up a package. <laughs> Alright, see you next time.